Good morning, my Saturday morning people. How are you? I am good. Let's have some coffee, shall we? Mmm, that is good. <laughs> this is especially good because I'm back to my Four Sigmatic coffee, adaptogen coffee. I was doing um, the light roast from Publix. And it didn't have I I I didn't have a lot of taste. <laughs> this at least I could taste. Um, it's a lot better, but so good. I'm so good. How are you? Oh, this week has been wonderful. Um, <clears throat> read my notes. Uh, what happened this week? Well, we had lots of walks, lots of walks, which is much better. My little potato and I, <laughs> and he needs it, and he's getting better too. So. We are loving our walks. Um, and the other day um, I was making dinner and I needed garlic and butter. I was able to just walk over to Wally and uh, grab that. It's, that's really a nice option um, to have, to just run over there, not even have to get in the car. I wrote myself a note and said, ooh, that was a good dinner. And I made one of my old dishes that I haven't made in a really long time. It's just panko chicken over garlicky pasta with broccoli um god i haven't made that in years it was one of my favorites uh it was so good i made it twice this week <laughs> and i made my cod and fennel dish um it was good oh but i i need to get out the cookbooks and um start getting some different ideas i got a ton of cookbooks so i will be getting those cookbooks out um maybe this saturday i'll uh, today <laughs> i will sit i I don't ever know what day it is. Maybe today I will sit at the table and um, write out my um, grocery list for some new or different dishes. But um, it reminds me of the dinner I used to make with my very first live-in boyfriend. <laughs> we would make chicken or pork chops in shake and bake and get that block of frozen, remember it was a square thing of frozen broccoli. <laughs> And rice a -roni. We would make that all the time. Oh, that was one of my favorites. That reminds me kind of that. Yeah. Good old shake and bake. Now all that stuff is probably not good for you. So. <laughs> you know what else I used to make around 2003-ish? Uh, um, I would get a regular romaine head and a, there was a red romaine head and mix that up and make a salad. Like a, I would make it a, a big thing of salad that I could just grab, you know, from the refrigerator. And on top of that, I would put steamed salmon, and um, and this is when strawberries were the new tomato. I would put sliced strawberries on that, and then um, and then uh, gorgonzola. And remember, red raspberry was all the rage back then. Red raspberry dressing um, that was so good. I could make that now, actually, a, a version of it. Anyways, that would be really good. So I should get, I should try that too. So it was so yummy. And this is why we have to walk because we love to eat. <laughs> Speaking of two more things, I went to a, um, there's a Greek uh, deli near me and uh, they have ba uh, baked goods, which is, um, that's dangerous. And what's even more dangerous is there's an ice cream place that me and Jax can walk to and I can bring him inside to order, but we can't stay inside. We'll just sit up, but we could sit outside. That is also dangerous. I have said, I have put a limit on myself. I can only go there once a week. <laughs> but it's nice to have a place to, that we can walk to and, and do that. So that's nice. We're just discovering all the new places. The Little Greek Deli is also a little restaurant. And um, I went in there. It was kind of like a little teeny tiny Niagara produce because they have produce, really good produce too that I saw. Bakery and then all that, you know, like the, the, the Italian pastas that I like and, you know, um, balsamic vinegars and all that cool little stuff, you know, uh, just stuff that, you know, don't really need but you want. <laughs> so that's nice that that's uh, a, a walkable uh, choice as well. So I love that. Um, that's why we have to walk a lot. 
I really need to do more yoga, longer yoga for this, get this body all stretched out. <laughs> but I have been, I've been doing lots of art. I'm back into it and it makes me so happy. Um, I, and, uh, because I wasn't really gung ho, but now I am gung ho on my art. I love it. I love it. Doing more videos too. More art videos. I don't know if you're my Saturday people are also my art video people, but <laughs> there's all that stuff out there. Oh, I started sitting out on the patio in my uh, gravity chair outside of my bubble because <laughs> I need to get a little color. So, you know, that's good. I think I'll sit out there um, this weekend. Oh, wait, no, it's, it's going to be, uh, it's going to start getting rainy this weekend. So, oh, I can't sit out there and read my books. But uh, the crows here are so funny. They make that funny sound, you know, that ah, 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 ah. And it sounds, I swear to God, it sounds like they are on um, a phone call. Ah, 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 ah. So that, <laughs> that's what I think when they're out there. It's so hysterical. I was getting all this stuff ready. I heard him out there. I was like, oh, I should open the door. I should open the door. <laughs> right on cue, right? Um, yeah, so that thing out there, they're, uh, that's a, they're people that are, they take docks apart, I guess. And then they put the docks, the big pylons on trucks right over here. So they've been doing that all week. But they're, they're not, it's not too bad. It's really not that, that noisy. Um, what else? Uh, oh, I've been keeping, now I'm, I'm starting to keep track of the tides because uh, the low tide, the high tides, low tide. It could get so low here that um, there is no water right in this little corner behind me. And that's where all the egrets and the herons like to hang out. It's just, God, this place is just like, it's just a paradise. It's just a little paradise. I moved my hair over because last time you couldn't hear me because of the Stupid hair. <laughs> mm. Oh, that coffee is so good. Coffee is so good. Mm -mm -mm. I love my coffee. Love my coffee. Oh, we went to Gulfport Brewery for lunch. I was just sitting here. It was, uh, uh, it was actually around 2 o'clock, and I was hungry, and I said, you know, I just don't feel like a, a cold-cut sandwich today. <laughs> I grabbed Jack's. I thought we tried to go to Gulfport Saturday, but um, they had some kind of a market uh, uh, art thing going on. So there was nowhere to park. I drove around and around and I just, I was like, nope, let's just go. I went, we actually went to downtown St. Pete and walked around there. Uh, not a lot because I was looking for a bakery. Finally found one <laughs> close to home actually. But uh, so we didn't really stay in Gulfport Saturday. So then Tuesday I said, let's just go. And we'll walk around now since there's no, you know, less people to get there. <laughs> there's some kind of market thing going on <laughs> Tuesdays too. So I found a parking spot and we just went and we walked up and down. It was nice. You know, uh, there's a lot of, um, you know, the usual jewelry um, stuff, you know, uh, typical market stuff. And then um, we came to the Gulfport Brewery and I said order inside at the bar. So I picked him up, walked in and... Um, Ordered, they had some kind of Coney Island hot dogs, Detroit Coney Island hot dogs. So I'll put a picture of it at the end here. <laughs> so good. But it was nice that I could order um, and then sit out in the um, patio area with him. They had people, you know, doing music and stuff like that too. It was nice. I drank iced tea because uh, I had my baby in the car. I do not drink when he's in the car. I actually, um, I don't really have, haven't had a desire to drink, <clears throat> excuse me, since I've been here. Uh, I only drank that one day when the Bills played, and I did not like the way I felt the next day. So I really have not had a desire. I've been here a month now, um, and I haven't had a desire to go to the beach bars or, you know, um, I'll, I would rather just do mocktails um, and stuff like that. So I really haven't had a desire to go to the bars. Um, I will go, but just for like lunch and stuff like that. So I'll have a mocktail or iced tea because um, 
I don't, I just don't have, this, I guess maybe it's my age. I'm maybe just, just not into it. Maybe I grew out of it. <laughs> I, I don't know. So, uh, whatever. Let me read you this quote that I saw. This Actually, this quote came up on my Facebook. I must have put a, a, posted it nine years ago. And I really like it. It kind of spoke to me. Those who control their passions do so because their passions are weak enough to be controlled. William Blake. That really spoke to me. I think when I was in the house on Willow, I did control my passions. Uh, or I just felt... I had, I had, I, it wasn't a bad thing. Um, I just needed that nine years to really just ground myself. And it really didn't take nine years. Maybe the beginning years that I was there, I just needed to ground myself and feel secure so that the rest of my time there, I really did have a wonderful time. I really, um, it was uh, just, um, it was, it was a great time at that time. Now I'm even, I just noticed I didn't put my watch on. And now it's a, uh, uh, I'm even, it's even, my, I'm in a, it's a different time. Every, we go through different stages in our life. You know, there was a stage in my life when I was a wild child. There was a stage in my life when I was an office worker. And then there was a stage in my life when I was, uh, <laughs> when I just stopped dating and that was it. And, and I just did things for myself. I made myself happy. Didn't have a, I always, Thought I had to have a man to be happy, but I just make myself happy. I guess my mother never had a man in her life, and that's probably why I am living her life. And not that it's bad. I don't think it's bad. Um, I'm happy. <laughs> so your retro moment for uh, today is, uh, remember Ryan's Hope, the soap opera? Remember Frank Ryan? Well, one of the actors that played uh, Frank Ryan just had a birthday, and he's 82. <laughs> 82. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> oh, so when I did that, I like that quote. So I did, um, I put it on one of my... Um, this is my junk journal. This is just a composition notebook. Here's Discovery. I just painted the top. And you know what you do? You just I just I just glue these pages, two pages together, and then I'll do paintings on them. But this is what this is. Uh, I put the quote on here. This is cool. This is I did this with um, painting in your PJs with Minette Riordan. She's on one. She's one of the channels that I I follow. But yeah, this is just a composition notebook. You can go and get. Art supplies from um, Five Below and just do some art, you know? Uh, write out your feelings and stuff. You know what you do? And like we did um, trying to get um, to uh, enjoy, um, trying to uh, uh, accept our bodies and stuff like that. We did this yesterday. It was my hand. But every time I look at my hands, I see my mother's hands. You know, but what we did is we wrote stuff underneath first, and then we paint over it. And it's just, it's very, it's just uh, a nice, it's kind of like a art therapy, sort of, you know. Yeah, so that's that. Boy, why don't I do any funny stuff today? <laughs> I'm sorry. So how about things that I Googled this week? <laughs> These aren't even funny either. <laughs> You're funny, too. No, I'm not funny this week. I don't know. What's going on? What's going on? Um, what is bronze cut pasta? Because I, when I was making the pasta, I only buy pasta that's from Italy because Italy does not have GMOs. They will not allow it. So at least it's another continent. <laughs> and um, because the United States is too late, we've got GMOs in everything, even if we didn't do GMOs when they were planting stuff. This it's in there, so I just get it from Italy. Um, bronze cut. What is bronze cut? It was so that it says uh, the pasta that I did get. It says is bronze cut pasta. So I, I had to Google that picture. <laughs> Play-Doh. Remember those Play-Doh things where you would squeeze a thing and little squiggly things would come out. 
That is what they do with bronze cut pasta, except instead of plastic, they use bronze. <laughs> that was really interesting to know. That was it. Um, another thing I Googled, uh, who is Pat Mahomes' father? Because there was a picture of him as a baby, and his father, Pat Mahomes Sr., was a, a MLB a Major League Baseball player for at least 11 years, and he played for um, Red Sox, Texas Rangers, and my favorite, the Mets, were one of the many different teams that he did play for. So he was, I did not know that, but that was interesting and, and stuff to know. Still don't like him. <laughs> but I am a, I am a, a Major League Baseball fan. I remember when I was really into the uh, Mets, that was when um, I was absolutely in love with uh, Mike Piazza. I remember one July, I went to four Major League Baseball games in in July, and that was because I worked for Fidelis, and I was in Rigo um, several times, and I got, um, for some reason, um, my, my, my director, I forgot his name, Matt Walsh? I got tickets. I got tickets to a couple games. I won tickets. I got tickets from him one time because they all knew that I loved the Mets. So I got and I went with my, um, I went with my um, supervisor Leah one time. And then one time I went to Toronto. That same July I went to Toronto because <clears throat> the Met. Oh no, it actually wasn't the Mets. It was. Um, the Yankees were playing the Toronto Blue Jays, and I got to see Derek Jeter stretching out. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. So, yeah, it was, that was a, uh, a great time back then. My Piazza. Still follow my Facebook. <laughs> One of the things I Googled was, um, what is Substack? A lot of places that I, uh, channels I follow, some of them have Substacks and that. Uh, I have no interest in doing it. I guess if people blog, if it's like a combination of a blog mailing out a newsletter at the same time. I, I have no uh, interest in doing any of that. I just like to do my videos, like to do my art. Um, not blogging. I do have a blog though. A uh, woman who run woman who runs with wolves. Um, it's out there still, and you know what? It was back when I. It was around 2003-ish when I started it. I should go out and read it. It's it's really, I mean, it, I had it for many, many years, at least until 2009, maybe. Go out and read it. There's tons of pictures of when I lived in Colorado. Um, just tons of stuff. Oh, there back when I used to do my own, I used to do my own podcast. Yep. Those are, I don't even know where those are. I mean, I have them on, D, on DVD or whatever, or disc uh, <clears throat> i don't know where they are out on the internet i would love to put those out it was like i was a disc jockey playing music but i would talk to and it was, it was kind of fun <laughs> oh that's i'm gonna have to look those up um what i what are the pine barons i mean we always hear about the pine barons and it always has something to do with the mob and i uh, i just had to look them up I guess they're in New Jersey <laughs> because the General Hospital, Sonny was in the Pine Beards. And I'm going to tell you, if Sonny would have killed Dex, that would have been it. I would have been done with General Hospital and I would have stopped watching it. <laughs> Another thing, also General Hospital, <clears throat> excuse me, because Jagger is on there now and Jagger is like, he's this righteous FBI dude. And then I kept thinking, and he was yelling at Sonny because Sonny's a mobster. And I'm like, wait a minute. Didn't Jagger kidnap Brenda <laughs> at one time? Or was that 90210? Because they were both on that too. <laughs> or was it a Lifetime movie? <laughs> I Googled it. Couldn't find it anywhere. So I somebody, if any of you have seen that or know what I'm talking about, I know jagger kidnapped brenda at one time back in the days i don't know if it was 90210 for the lifetime movie <laughs> but tell me i want to know why is my nose all stuffy it hasn't been stuffy since i've been in buffalo so 
Let's have another cup of coffee. Another taste, I mean. So, what am I going to do next week? Um, <clears throat> oh, I went to a little Mardi Gras party yesterday for uh, the apartment. Valentine's Day, I found um, a little Valentine on my door. And it was those little those little conversation hearts. It was cute. That was cute. And then we had a Mardi Gras party yesterday. I met more of my neighbors. It was really nice. Everybody is so nice here. Everybody is really nice and quiet, which I love. And I love it here. I'm going to stay here. I want to stay here forever. I'm going to um, be as healthy as I can so I can live here forever. <laughs> Other than that, I'm just going to read my books. I uh, almost bought another book today. And I said, nope, nope, nope. Something, oh, I was reading about it this morning. It's a book by um, Pam Houston. Um, but it was about stuff, something about cowboys. Something, uh, but I was, because I was reading about it in Outside Magazine. And um, it was something about women who like men who are kind of unavailable. They're cowboys <laughs> or they're... Uh, 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 mountain climbers or something like that and they always love something else more than they love women like Harleys <laughs> been there done that um, then I thought no I don't want to read about that stuff anymore that that was my past I'm done with that I'm happy now don't pursue men that are available anymore <laughs> here me and Jax he's my man I love him so <laughs> we're gonna walk a lot more this week um, I really don't have anything not really just our usual do lots more art yep and that's about it oh today is day 46 of my no buy art supply doing good doing good so you guys, you have a wonderful time. Um, if you're um, a new subscriber or a subscriber, please um, say hello, introduce yourself in the comments below. Um, like if you're if uh, like my like like my video because that really helps me. And then um, I'd like to get to know you too. You you know me. Let me get to know you as well because I I just love I love talking to you guys. On the comments it's fun other than that I'm gonna get myself another copy after this and I'm just gonna enjoy this wonderful view because soon it's gonna turn into rain <laughs> which I don't mind at all either I could sit here and watch the rain talk to you later oh boy Thank you.